George has done a good job with his dairy farming, but as usual, there's always room for improvement. When we were last here, we brought in CKL Africa to help George with his dairy farming. His cows were in a terrible state and his production was very low. Now, Karaoke is back, back to see what he has done, what he can still improve on and what has changed. Uh, one thing I would like to commend him on is that the last time we were here, he was doing an average of five liters per day. Mm -hmm. Now he's doing an average of 20 liters against five because that's a production of 100 liters. Something to commend him mm -hmm. for. George was getting five liters from one cow. Now he's getting 100 liters from five cows. That's a big milestone for me, the fact that it's just one year. I'm just on the first steps. I'll do more and more. I'm aspiring to have like 300, 500 liters per day. And then I would really love to hit on the target of having the pedigrees. That's the main goal as per now. All right. Yes. Initially it was Mrefu being milked. Yes, yes. Yes, I've seen Mrefu. Mrefu is also doing very well. Yes. And I can also see Julian here. Then when Karaoke was around, oh. she was a calf. And Julian <laughs> was very shaggy girl. <laughs> very yeah, shaggy. And was right looking now, bad. Yes, but now it looks a very good, uh, promising in Cafe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Looking at my heart right now, is there any importance of getting rid of the current herd and actually buying one pedigree also? I don't think so. Uh -huh. What you have is a very good, promising herd, uh -huh. very young. Uh -huh. Sure. So what you need to do is now work on breeding uh -huh. and breed with CRV so that you can have your replacement stock for CRV and then also work now on the general management of your heart. Wow. The bottom line is you have what you need to have. You don't have to replace. Mm -hmm. You don't, don't have, have to call. Okay, okay. Yeah. What is CRV? CRV is a Dutch organization and brings semen from Netherlands, but in Kenya it's distributed by CKR Africa. Mm -hmm. These semen are vetted, they are tested, you are quality guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that right. what we see in the picture is what you're going to come out. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. George has dreams of reaching a production of 300 litres per day, but... He has said that there are two cows like Mrefo that are becoming difficult breeders. What does that mean? It's a cow that you serve severally without conceiving. Like now, the, the simple case of Mrefo is fatty, is beefy. Mm -hmm. That one cannot conceive. In simple terms, you're saying that how we feed our cows, how we take care of them, how we manage them, is going to determine the kind of breeder we get? Yes, and also the production. Out of the production you get, it's 40% genetics and 60% management. Mm -hmm. So you might have good breed, but you mismanage on feeding. So both must be considered. They're in the same WhatsApp group? They're in the same WhatsApp group. You good, can put good, it. good. And he has a target of getting the whole herd as a pedigree. When, when you say pedigree, in, in simple terms, what does it mean? Pedigree is the fourth generation in breeding. Mm -hmm. Where comes now you have the pure breed, pure freshian. Yeah. And, and how can he do that? It's very simple. Just plan ahead, breed with CRV, mm -hmm. and get a particular bull that you want, a particular trait to be rectified. To get to a pedigree, breed the first cow with CRV, then that daughter with CRV, continuing like that until the fourth daughter. This will take about eight years. Like when we are looking at the proper bull selection for this one, we looked at the udder and the feet and legs. Uh -huh. And that's why you can see the feet and legs for this daughter of Mlefu are way better than the mother. True. When we are starting to breed this one, we are now going not to concentrate much on feet and legs, uh -huh. but you are going to do on daily strength. When you talk about daily strength, what yeah. do you mean? When you talk of daily strength, the positioning of the hip and pin bones, the space between the front legs, and actually the straightness of the linear backline. Was that clear? Let's simplify it. Last time, Karaoke recommended breeding Mrefu to improve on feet and legs as a start, giving birth to Stacy. This time, he would like to improve on the straightness of the back, position of the hip, and pin bones and the space between the front legs. All this to help improve on milk production. And something that you also must know that sometimes it's not just important to have a lot of milk that is not of quality. Yeah. Yeah? When you're talking of production, you're not looking again 
the amount of kgs in milk mm -hmm. you also look at the content the percentage fat the percentage protein and that you only get it when you breed with crv so mr karaoke yes. when it gets to pedigree what mm -hmm. is his estimated potential of getting milk mm -hmm. yeah he has proved that he can work for it because you have to work for it yes and uh, coming from a hard average of 5 to 20 you are halfway what crv can give you the hard average for crv breed is 40 liters per cow per day mm -hmm. yeah so with five cows times 40 liters you're supposed to have 200 liters wow this is amazing there are two or three areas i'd like him to check on one the positioning of the water troughs the size of the water troughs and how to clean the water troughs George's cows are getting rained on, but not to worry. With the expert's advice, we get moving, making George an even better dairy farmer. 